In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite little setups here out of the trips tight end or the trio Y flex formation. Now this trio Y flex formation can be found in the New York Giants offensive play, but we're gonna show you how to beat every single coverage with, again, a route combination that I think that, you know, every year in Madden, there's new route combinations that kind of appear. This is one of those route combos. You can honestly do this out of several different formations, but I really do think that this is very, very good because of the spacing that the Gun Trio Y Flex offers you um, that you're gonna be able to get a lot of advantages out of this. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, be sure to subscribe. This is our Trio Y Flex offense. If you've not picked up my Trio Y Flex offensive ebook yet, if you wanna learn the entire offense, I have to tell you, I really personally believe that this is the best offense of the game. It's got unique ways to pick up pressures. It's got phenomenal coverage bombs. It's got great spacing. I think the spacing from this formation is absolutely impeccable. And so if you want to learn my entire Trio Y Flex offense, I'm going to put a link to that ebook down in the description below. You can get the full offensive ebook for just 15 bucks, or you can get, just sign up for the Patreon. By signing up for the Patreon, you're going to get instant access to every ebook that I've released so far in the Madden 22 season and every ebook that you get or that I will release while your subscription is active. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. So far, we have 12 eBooks that you're going to get immediate access to, and we've got several more that we're planning to release in the coming weeks. Now, uh, that being said, let's talk about the PA crossers. You could do this out of really any play, um, but I personally prefer to do this out of the PA crossers uh, concept. So what we're going to do here um, is actually relatively simple, and I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do the same concept and uh, why I really enjoy it. So the first way that we're going to set this up is we're going to streak the uh, triangle receiver. And we're going to put the square receiver on a little five yard baby in route. And then we are going to put the uh, both of our slots here, Chris Godwin and then Rob Gronkowski on the back side of this on a crossing route. So you see how we got double crossers. Now, what we're gonna do with this is we're actually gonna motion Godwin to the numbers, and you're gonna see here, we're gonna try to get him as delayed as we possibly can. And what you're gonna see with these crossers is you now are gonna have these crossers kind of running off of one another and it's going to be very difficult for the user uh, to be able to use her both routes and what i really like about the trio y flex is the crosser that the tight end goes on is a slot apprentice crosser because of the way uh, that this formation is wired and so because of that what you're going to notice here is it's a lot deeper of a crossing route than we're normally accustomed to seeing and so as you can see right here it's going to clear out really a lot of zones and the user is going to have to guard one of those crossing routes if not basically both of them so wherever their user doesn't guard that is where we're going to want to try to go with the football so let me show you that was cover three uh, i showed you cover two or uh, cover four now we're going to show you cover three obviously you have that in route as a check down your first read is really the slot streak but it's rarely open um, but you will be surprised if from time to time it does get open if they're sending some zone drops or whatever if you wanted to put um scotty miller on the crosser you could and then you could streak uh chris godwin so you see here it could look like this too it's the same it's the exact same um concept if you will uh, it's just a different read progression so now you're gonna have maybe a little bit better of a slot seam type of thing and then as you can see here we're now moving you know just simply following the flow of the play and as you can see those crossing routes because they're slot apprentice crossers and because of where they're running from they're going to get very deep down the field as you can see now i showed you one way to run this i want to show you another way to run this that i actually really like out of this trail i flex it's one of my favorite things to do and to be honest with you it's something that you can really only do from this formation uh and at least the way that it is kind of done and i'm going to show you kind of how this works so what we're going to do here is you see here i am in the pa crossers play now the adjustment that I'm gonna make is I'm gonna put the uh, the slot receiver here, Godwin, even though he's already on a crosser, I'm gonna re-put him on a slot apprentice crosser. So you see, that's what he looks like. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the play. Obviously the defense is gonna to have to flip their play, but what you're gonna notice here is that now Mike Evans is on a crosser, and then as you can see, Chris Godwin is also on a crosser. So now all I have to do to run the basically the same concept is take Scotty Miller and put him on a little baby out route. And then I'm gonna put the tight end on a streak. So you see, it looks like this. And now we're basically running the same concept that we were, except it's kind of a flip trip 
trick, and it's a way that we can run this to me that just kind of is a little bit different, a little bit, uh, you know, kind of more effective in my opinion in some ways. And as you can see, um, the beauty of this really is found too in the spacing. Now, if you wanted to, you could cross her both, um, you could cross her Chris Godwin, and if you have Hot Rod Master, you could cross her Scotty Miller. Now, when you flip it, you're going to notice here that, that Chris Godwin is going to stay on the crosser. And now your motion guy could be, uh, for example, Mike Evans. The only reason you would do this is because now your crossers are going to run deeper together. Now, in my personal opinion, that's a little bit too compressed. Uh, but what you'll see here, and the beauty of this is also the fact that you're going to see how these crossers really do work off of one another to kind of pull zones in different directions. So uh, as you can see here, you've got your clear out. And then as you can see, both these crossers, I can read both of those. So they're going to pull zones. And then as you see, this circle crosser is going to get into a really unique position. So this is just a simple way um, that you can use flip tr uh, tricks within this formation. Um, for example, let me give you one more while I'm thinking about it. And that's this setup right here. Uh, so let's say you have that crosser from the outside receiver. As you can see, we did a motion uh, flip to be able to make that a, 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 a reality. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take Scotty Miller and we're just going to put him on a flat. The reason we want to do that is because all those flat zone, flat zone type of players, we're going to pull that guy out of the way. And then what you're going to see here is we're just going to simply take uh, the tight end and we're going to put him on that vertical. And then now what we're going to do is still with that motion over. And you can see that this just creates really, really good spacing. And you have great check downs on both sides to the flat and then that dig. But then the beauty of this is this crosser just gets so deep down the field that pretty much no zone drop can guard it. So um, to me, this is another, and you can do this with really any route. So for example, let me show you another way that I like to set this up. We're gonna put Chris Goblin on a post. We're gonna flip the play. And now what we're doing is we're running essentially, uh, if you will, the X spot setup. But now we've got a nice deep post. And then we've got, you know, kind of a great little route combination. Um, and as you can see, this deep post is really a great route for getting kind of in between almost every zone in the game. So um, that is one little secret to the Trio Y Flex, one of the many reasons why I think it is the best offense in this game. So if you want to learn my entire Trio Y Flex guide, or if you just want to take your Madden game to the next level, I would really encourage you to consider joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Again, it's just 10 bucks a month. By joining the Patreon, you not only get access to every ebook, offensive and defensive ebook that I've released, and every ebook that I'm going to release, we also spend uh, a significant amount of time breaking down some of the best players in the community and kind of really trying to dive deep into what they are actually doing that makes them so good. We did a one hour and 15 minute film room on the pro player Henry, probably one of the players, uh, one of the top three or four players year in and year out. And really, as far as my personal opinion, I think I've got the most respect for uh, Spam and Buttons and Henry and Drini and some of those guys. And so uh, Henry is just consistently one of the best players in the world. And so we did a one hour breakdown on what makes him so good at this game. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed the video, you want to check out more about the offense, check out that true fan membership, that Patreon link that is linked down in the description below. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy that Patreon.